How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, right. It's good to see somebody from CKCU, to be honest with you. <laughs> Can you get any closer to your phone? You're coming in really quiet. All right. Give me a second. How about now? That sounds better. There you go. All right. I've also been my own headphone settings, so... There's so many things you got to check these days. So this yeah, is how you're doing this, man. Yeah, uh, man. You know, it works when it works. Um, I I took a I took a look, and uh, do you remember the last song you played uh, before COVID? No. It was uh, the I think it was the Art of Noise. Okay. Something from well, the Art of love. Noise is that coming back to you now? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. If, <clears throat> To our CKCU listeners, you must recognize this voice for sure. Shit, I hope they still remember. <laughs> oh, they, we don't forget someone like uh, logs as many hours on right. the air as you do. Live in large is uh, dropping by Tuesday special blend. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me, man. Thank you for having me. So tell me about uh, your situation, your life. How uh, how are you coping? How are you holding up? Well, I'm um, still working, you know, frontline worker is what they call us, you know? So I'm still doing that. But uh, because of that, I'm like pretty much working six days a week. So I really don't have time to be doing like my own show and stuff like this, you know? Cause like on my, on my only day off, I'm pretty much, you know, being a father to my daughter and stuff, you know? Yeah, for sure. So, like, my time is literally split between her and work and stuff, you know? Well, I totally understand that. You know, it's 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 just the anxiety level that we've all been dealing with as well. I mean, every day you go to work, you're you know it's tough enough doing what you do, but then you you add on the fact that you're having to deal with the public and some of them, yeah, some of them don't really wear masks, won't wear a mask, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and you just don't know everything you touched, everything you've, uh, everyone you come in contact with. It's just. Even, even the science behind it has been like on and off because like at one time they said it, li- it lives a long time on surfaces and then all of a sudden it's like it doesn't have a long shelf life on surfaces so you know and, yeah, and then even, can learn it. even just the you know they, at first don't wear a mask don't need to wear a mask now exactly yeah everybody's like where do i get a mask i gotta have a mask mm-hmm. and but uh and then you combine that with well thank god the um the borders are closed because it seems like our yeah, our neighbors to the south are, um, especially in some states, they just they're just running yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah, so that was my thing. I was like, I hope we don't open prematurely. You know, in terms of like the the stages that they set up, I was like, I'd rather us be in lockdown for even a longer period just to be safe than for us to open up and then all of a sudden we get another wave. Well, you know what? I, I'm just so happy that we connected first of all, and I mean. Uh, um, I last week on my show last week I was trying to find some positives that have come out of just doing shows from home and I, I was I managed to find a few I mean you know certainly got to got a chance to meet some musicians that I hadn't met before even though it was a virtual conversation you know so there are there might be some positives I know that just uh, because I'm working from home um, you know I'm getting stuff done around the house right the, like some of the things like the shrubs you know everything's looking pretty good <laughs> my form of manscaping is totally different than what they talk about on social media i'm i'm a, I, you know i'm landscaping as a guy yeah. you know but yeah, yeah. um wow uh what what music is getting you through this man same old music same everything you know i got uh, all these old artists that are making new music coming out so that's a plus but, uh, you know, pretty much everything that you hear on New Jack City or stuff that you hear on Home Invasion is stuff that I curated myself, you know what I mean? Music that I went out and chose, stuff that I vibe with that I feel like everybody else is going to vibe with. And, you know, just uh, push it on like that. Still been listening to it. Been listening to us is grade eight, to be honest. You know what I mean? And it's still going. Well, uh, so give me a few examples of some of these old artists that are coming out with new music that we could check out. Uh, the Chill came out with something brand new. Uh, Chill and MC8 actually came out together. Uh, with something brand new and then um, Lazy Bone just dropped something new and um, Cocaine is working on a new album you know shout out to Cocaine um, shit I think uh, Daz Dillinger and uh, Big Gip just dropped the album together you know this is what we miss on the radio because yeah. the way you just, just went through your list the way you described it 
<laughs> the, my Tuesday special blend listeners said, wow, this is that sounds cool. Where is this guy? Where is he at? <laughs> you know, man, I'm missing the studio more than ever. I'm not going to lie. You know, like, I'm missing it so much. I want to go down, do the show and all this. But, you know, we're still in the lockdown, I guess, you know? Well, you know, I helped uh, I helped uh, Shelly Ann and uh, Kim Kilpatrick from Welcome to My World get an episode. I'd uh, I'd be willing to try What's to work work, work with yeah. you, man. I'd be willing to try to work with you and use ac my access to uh, just the the equipment to get your mm -hmm. voice back on the air. Whether it's uh, maybe you just co-host an hour with me sometime, you know. And because uh, today we're just uh, we just figured out how to. First of all, like I'm just happy to see you live. And uh, you're smiling, and uh, but uh, the, the listeners miss you, and uh, I miss just bumping into you, man. And I, you know, I, I'm sort of trapped here in Orleans, so anytime I get a chance to venture out, it's uh, it's like a, a good day for me. But it's pretty tough, and uh, so for me, you know, this episode's about connecting with some old friends I haven't seen for a while. So you're one. I appreciate it. I got uh, Pep from Pep Talk. You know, he used to co-host with me for a while. He's okay, been. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's been trapped over in Gatineau, and not only that, but he has had to learn how to be a mechanic. He's gonna, he's gonna probably tell me a few things he's learned how to fix on his uh, his vehicle. Yeah, it's not a bad trade to learn. I know, but um, uh, it's not. It's been tough. I mean, the, there's a lot of hosts that just don't have like your, you know, your your the the, the work and the access and the ability to you know to, to pull all this. It's just not going to be possible for everybody to still be able to do their show. But I, you know, I did think that, you know, now that I've been doing and figured out how to do it from home, I really did think that this could be a good workaround for you if, if you were able to get it together. Instead of you physically having to be in the studio, you know, 2 a.m., 6 a.m., that's a, that's a, that's a tour. That's like a, that's a dedicated shift. Yeah, I'm usually up around them times anyway. Okay, you know? maybe you just like the alone time because when you're working retail, you're surrounded by people. So maybe that's your safe place. Yeah, I'm actually doing pizza delivery now. So we're not even doing retail no more. You know? <laughs> oh, is, it, is it good pizza? Yeah. A, I was, a big box chain or a... Uh, no, it's one of those, um, I think it's only in Ottawa. One you can for give them a shout out, man. All right, one for one pizza down in Barhaven. Come check me out. All right, there we yeah. go. And uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, well, I did say, I did promise you that uh, I'd play a track for you. So I know uh, I'm going to look up. I want to find those artists that you, you mentioned. I'm going to check them out. But uh, of everything that we've been talking about, uh, have you thought about a song that maybe we could throw on uh, and uh, just remind everybody what they're, what they're missing? And hopefully we'll have you back soon. Yeah, put on both those in Harmony Days of Our Lives. You got it, man. And uh, how's and uh, how's your daughter? Can I just want to say hi to your daughter, and I hope uh, how is she do, dealing with it? The school's over; it was totally different for her. Like, how's she holding up? Man, the school year has been terrible this year, right? Like, they had the whole strike, and I kept telling myself, like, between the strikes and the holidays that they had off, the kids are barely in school. I was like, you can't get any worse than that. All of a sudden, we had the coronavirus, and they've been out of school since uh, March break. So you got a plan in place. Like, is she able to, to burn off some energy and, and uh, find a way to do that? Yeah. I got a big family. I got an uncle that's almost like her same age range. So they constantly playing and fighting. You know what I mean? I got to like stop fights constantly. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, she's been on her Minecraft. She's been playing Minecraft all day. She's been, uh, you know, learning her sight words, been teaching her how to read. She's slowly starting to get there. And, uh, you know, between that and, you know, eating pizza with daddy, watching pro wrestling, we good, you know? That's awesome, man. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I wanted to ask you one more thing is that uh, it's uh, certainly been beyond COVID. The, uh, the second, if not the biggest story out of all this has been the, the Black, Life, Black Lives Matter, the movement, the awareness campaign, the, the, mm. the awakening up of a lot more people. There's still a long way to go. But... Right. Um, you know, just uh, I wanted to find, you know, I wanted to ask if you have a, a perspective on that. Do you think that, um, you know, to think that uh, it's, we've made some headway this summer? In a way, yes. Right. But uh, it seems like the more progress we make, and I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a trend going all around the states where people have been found hung in trees and they're pretty much classifying it as a suicide. No. 
that's been going on. To me, it's like, I want to run a background check on who these individuals are for them to be hanging in trees, right? Because I know when they first started Black Lives Matter, a lot of the founding fathers of Black Lives Matter were found dead under mysterious circumstances. And it didn't come out till years after. So to me, it's like all these people that are pretty much lynched, who are they? Why were they lynched? And why are they classified as, you know, uh, suicide? This is not landing on my mainstream media. So where are you um, hearing and reading about this? I've seen it. Like they were talking about it happening in Texas. It happened in Los Angeles. California actually had twice, like two people. Were, well, what's, uh, uh, what, where do you get, where are you getting your news? Like I just, I'm not hearing about this as a, as a thing. Just from all over, you know, either it's on the, the usual news or just the internet and stuff like that. I know yeah. like there's a lot of fake news and stuff like that. So I might have to fact check that myself, you know, but it's something I heard about it, you know. Um, I just know that, you know, it's, it's made a lot of uh, a lot of people at least try to have a better understanding of, of you know, I was just um, there was just a story on TSN the other day about, um, you know, uh, Bubba Wallace, right? And yeah. uh, and then he was talking about there was a there was a biography of um, some other like the first uh, um, you know black black American that was in the, the NASCAR way back in the the '60s when and uh, they were telling one part where he was going to enter a race and the you know he was in one of the states that just didn't uh, didn't want to have him compete. They said, "Well, he says look over there. He says uh, th- we've got an ambulance." But you better not get in a wreck because that ambulance is for whites only. So if you want to enter the race and you get in a wreck, that ambulance is coming for you. And it's like that's how far back things were. You yeah. Know? You know, and it's like he had to risk his own life and risk the possibility of not getting medical treatment just to do a sport that he was good at. Because the uh, the the dominant the white dominant you know owner operators were all like we don't want you here and we're going to make it as difficult and as intimidating as possible. It's like what the hell? Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Everything gets a return, though. You know that dude from Walking Dead said it best. He's like everything gets a return, and it seems like it's starting to get like that now. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, it just. uh, we need all the voices on the on the radio, and I know that's tough for you right now. So, like I said, uh, my offer is there, man. If um, you'd like to sort of think about spinning together an hour, even, right. and we'll just put it out as a as a podcast and have it drop into your into your music slot, I can help you. For sure. You just send me a list of the you send me a list of the tracks, and I'll uh, I'll dig them up and thread mm-hmm. them together in the order you want them, and then you just. Uh, you just do your thing and I'll uh, put your voice in between where you want it to go. All right. Sounds All right. good? Yeah, I got you. Give it some thought. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to put pressure on you because you, you you got enough to cope with right now. So it's... Nah. Um, Again, like I miss doing the show, so anything would help at this point, you know? Yeah. Hey, you yeah. want to do a quick little... Why don't you do a quick little promo for me? Just say, uh, you know, hey, this is Living Large. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hoping to be back on the air soon, but just taking care of my family right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're listening to Tuesday Special Blend, my pal Jet. Something along those lines. And okay. uh, you can have two or three takes, and then we'll call it a day, okay? I'm just going to mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Living Large coming at you live. Ottawa, Ontario, Home Invasion Show. Y'all already know. Family man, radio man, pizza man, whatever you want to call me, I be it. Check out my man, Jeff LaRock, at Tuesday Special Blend. Y'all already know. Y'all already there. Stay tuned. That is awesome. Thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I don't live out in your way, so the pizza will be cold by the time you get here. But just, uh, uh-huh. just know we're thinking about you. I'm glad you had some time for me today. Thanks a lot. Right. Much so. I appreciate you having me, reaching out, all of that. Stay safe and uh, <laughs> make the most of the summer, man. Hey, I'm not even in summer mode. To be honest with you, hey, summer hit. We in July now, and I, I know. it doesn't even feel like in summer. I know. You got a, you got AC in your delivery vehicle there? Yeah, of course. Oh, there you go. To. I have it too, but mine's not working right now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, man. You got stuff to do. Thanks right. a lot for your time. No problem. Peace. Take care. Stay in touch.